this poly thing is all about you. You decided what poly was for both of us. So Elliot and I met on Jack. He was very different from other guys. He wasn't just looking for sex. Jamal was special, and things were great between us. But when I told him I wanted to be Polly, his jealousy got out of hand. And he's never admitted it, but I know he stepped out on me. I never should have reacted that way, so I'm here to own up and ask Elliot for a second chance. Did you cheat on me? The only reason why I even thought to entertain other people was because of you. You had just told me that you wanted to be poly. Yeah, but being polyamorous means that you tell your partner when you're gonna hook up with other people. You <laughs> didn't, that's cheating. All I wanted was transparency. Meanwhile, you all of your friends. Meanwhile, you've had sex with all of your friends. How am I supposed to feel? I was very vocal about it and I told you what we were doing, and I even told you that it was going to happen. Yes, but Elliot, when I wanted to spend time with you, I felt alone. I felt like you just started to put me at the bottom of your priority list. It was because of Travis or any one of your other friends. Remember that time when you canceled our Valentine's Day because Travis told you that he planned Valentine's Day weekend? This is after you agreed to being Polly. I don't understand how you could be hurt. I wanted to be the only person that you had feelings for in that way because I thought what we had was special. How do you think that made me feel? I feel like if you're going to accept a plan or an agreement, then you should know whether you can make it or not. But you never asked me how I felt about that. This Polly thing is all about you. You decided what Polly was for both of us. Honestly, I wish you would have just vocalized that more. You should have told me how you were feeling. You told me that if I told you I wasn't okay with being in a polyamorous relationship, you would probably want to break up with me. More than anything, I didn't want you to leave my life. You are one of the very important people in my life. I've told you things that I haven't told anyone. It's weird, it's almost like a playback of like love stories, like love romance movies in my mind. Every time I think about you. So, I don't wanna lose you. I, I didn't know what else to do. I am sorry for not telling you about the guys that I slept with. I understand that it was definitely an, an immature reaction. I'm really sorry for the way I made you feel. I know that it must have been hard knowing that I was talking to other people. That's one of the things that was on my conscience the most. That means a lot. I've done some research on myself. Now I do feel like I am at a place to possibly explore a polyamorous relationship with someone. What I'm asking you is, would you give me a second chance? Would you be willing to communicate clearly? I will definitely make sure that we have a great source of communication. Yeah, I'll give you a second chance. Can I get a hug? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So let me just be honest, this episode I, I have no idea what is going on like this whole polyamorous relationship like i'm completely
clueless, completely clueless. And I don't know how people manage this in their relationship. Like, what exactly happens? Is it when you've been with someone for a long time, you just want to uh, experiment and try new things? Or is it in this story, Elliot just wanted to cheat, so he needed an excuse to do it? Because I don't get it. How does it exactly work? Like, I understand the concept, a polyamorous relationship, meaning if you want to sleep with other people, you have to tell your partner about it and be open and transparent and they should be okay with it for it to actually work but who is actually okay with such shit and the way Elliot suggested that he wants a polyamorous relationship then when his boyfriend cheats on him or sleeps with other people without telling him he gets offended but it was his idea to sleep with other people in the first place so is it what is his problem exactly that he was not told or that he, Jamal slept with other people What's <laughs> like it's I do not see how it works or I do not just understand it. I, I is, is it something that you do when you've been in a relationship for such a long time? And as you guys were watching the story, Jalmal was actually really in love with this guy. The way he spoke about him, he sees him, the way he looks at movies or this sitcoms, this rom-coms, and it's it's also kind of dangerous when somebody idolizes you this way or puts you in a pedestal. It means it's kind of an obsession and they're really blind to your flaws and faults. So it kind of changes the power dynamics in the relationship. And it's very like, I would rather you see me as another human being, a normal person who's chosen to love you and do my best to try and make you happy than see me as this idol that you look up to and just like, mm. Like, I do not like this romantic movie shit. Like, me, me I'm a real person. I, I like real situations. So would you guys actually try a polyamorous relationship? And has anyone who's watching this video actually had a successful or failure? Let me know down in the comments. And do you guys think this relationship will actually work? Because now Jamal said that he's ready to be in a polyamorous relationship. But you also understand, he also did not say no the first time because he was afraid of losing the person he loves. So what has changed this time? Is it still that he doesn't want to lose him so he will accept anything he wants to do so that he just keeps him in his life? Anyway, this whole story is confusing to me. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I told her that I have a girlfriend, but she didn't care. And neither did you.